All right, so we're gonna be doing some t-shirt design niche research. And also, if it works for, obviously, different products too. So, like, you know, I sell a lot on Amazon merch. You could probably use it for a phone case, a pop socket, a tote bag, whatever it is, right? There's, there's, a, there's a few different things that you can use it for. But first and foremost, one of the tools that I personally enjoy using is the Merch Informer, and I like to use the movers and shakers. That's what we're in right here. Okay, this is the daily. You can see I just left everything as is, and I like to research by shirts. You can do different categories if you want to inside here. They have a, a free seven-day trial, so link's gonna be down below in the description. Okay, that's my affiliate link. If not, follow along with this video. I'm gonna show you some tips right now on how I like to do my research and kind of keep this video going, this type of video going with helping you guys do research, okay? First things first is I try to come in here when I do this search right here, it's gonna show me, you know, all the, you know, the top selling shirts from one to 12, right? And one thing I like to look at is what do I see, okay? I, I see the designs, but the niches that I'm seeing, like what are sticking out to me? Okay, so when I come down here, I'm looking at oh, just a girl who loves reading books, right? And then I come back up, reading is my jam. We got reading. So we have two designs that are in the movers and shakers right here with Merch Informer that are related to reading, okay? Then I see pink or blue, mommy loves you, okay? Um, and then I come up here, my favorite childhood memory is my back not hurting. This is a simple text-based design, right? that retro type of style, but it's, you know, making sales or it's made a sell. Okay. Something like this, there's a demand. It's one, it's one that's made a sell made another sell made another sell. Okay. This one's made a sell made another sell. This one's made a sell made a sell. Okay. So we have two cells and then we have three cells here and then two cells here. Okay. But then we have the niche, one of the niches right here with the reading that has two designs in that niche that are making sales. So we have two, right? Two. That's a sign right there. So first niche is going to be it's going to be Let's pull out a notebook first niche is going to be okay. I would come into the reading niche and see What you could find so a reading niche would be you know You would try to come up with different ideas for the reading niche obviously you have you know You got some a book some books open with some hearts then up here You have that you know that rainbow type of style which was trending sort of trending last year and I can see still, still, it's still doing good, right? So we have the reading niche. The first niche is going to be the reading niche, okay? Now, the thing is the demand, right? We're looking for a demand inside of every everything that the information is given us right here on Merch Informer. As I go down, I love my hot Mexican boyfriend. Okay, there's several different things that you can possibly do right there. Same thing with this. My favorite childhood memory is my back is not hurting. I can see that working pretty well too as well with different things. Think about childhood memories and then kind of mix, put in a funny saying with that, right? So maybe favorite childhood memory sayings. Okay, so number favorite. So the number two is just favorite, favorite childhood memory sayings. Okay. That's a good one. And then three. So we got three. We got, I'm gonna pull out a notepad. Also too, guys, I do have a, a spreadsheet down below. I'll put in the description if you guys wanna check that out and how I organize all my you know, my information, how I organize my spreadsheet. So for example, this is how I will work in a spreadsheet, right? And I have all my information. You can see how the sayings, different niches, each niche is gonna be different, right? You can see right here, you know, the design layout and then obviously the inspiration if you can see the inspiration picks right here, okay? There is a different inspiration picks that, that I, you know, share with my team. And basically I try to knock out all my research, you know, at the beginning of the month and just kind of just knock it all out. Boom, 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 boom. And that way I can do more things with inside my business. And that's your goal too. You don't want to be doing research all month, right? You want to be doing research, you know, maybe two or three days out of the month and then have it all done, right? And that's the goal. So keep that in mind when you're doing this research, like you always wanna stay ahead by doing research, but then at the same time, you wanna make sure that, you know, it's a very simple process for you. And let's say if you're starting to build a team and put a system in place for your business, right? That's what you should be doing. You can create something like this, right? And then just give that to them and they can work on it, okay? That way you can focus on, you know, getting 100, 200, 300, 400 designs done in a month and bam, it's done. 
back to the video. <laughs> All right, so we got our one niche is a reading and the second niche is favorite childhood memory sayings. Okay, that can be a good idea. And then remember, so pink or, or blue. So let's go down a little bit more. We can't do nothing like this. This is a Star Wars unless you have the rights, right? Big piece of my heart lives in heaven and she is with my Nana. Oh, that's an awesome shirt. No Star Wars, we've seen that one. Irish Italian drinking team. Now, what the, there's gonna be a lot of Saint P, I was gonna say the keywords. If you pay attention, let me pull this up real fast. St. Patrick's Day is coming up, right? Within a few days, but you're gonna see a lot of drinking shirts that are gonna be crushing it, okay? And this is more of an evergreen niche, and if you don't know what that means, it's basically, just because it's St. Patrick's Day, when St. Patrick's Day is over, that niche is still gonna sell. But when St. Patrick's Day comes around, you're gonna get a boost in sales, and the reason being is because, you know, it's a party holiday, right? And then people love to drink beer, but then, you know, throughout the whole year, there's gonna be birthday gifts bought for people that like to drink beer, right? So you get what I'm saying when it comes to this, this is very important because this is one way just to get a boost in sales, get those ratings, get those reviews going on that list and get that traction going. But then every year it comes around, you get like a $500 bonus for March because of that t-shirt that's an evergreen t-shirt that sells over and over and over. So what I would do is think of, beer funny beer sayings funny beer sayings okay that that are evergreen okay but keep in mind st patrick's day day and when is that day you can do that. literally just a copy and paste come over here st patrick's day and St. Patrick's Day is the 17th. If instead of 2023, so I can pop up there. Patrick's Day, 20, 17th. So keep this in mind St. Patrick's Day is the 17th. Okay. March 17th. Okay, so keep that in mind. But for any British things that are evergreen, but keep in mind St. Patrick's Day is March 17th. So leverage that day and then you can get some sales, boost some sales and hopefully get those organic sales going for that niche, right? So number, four, as I come back over here, number four, I love my hot Mexican boyfriend. Uh, all right, oh, look okay. it. So pink or blue, Mimi loves you. Now we came back up here, pink or blue, mommy loves you, all right? So the gender, baby gender reveal seems to be a big thing right now, okay? We have two of them. So like I said, we, when we see that there's a demand, there's one, two of the same shirt selling in this niche. This is big because that means that there's a demand for this niche, okay? Even if I, let's see that one right here, let's say let's click on this one. So baby gender, okay, it's a big one. So basically you're just trying to figure out, you know, the sex of the child pink or blue, right? Is it a girl or boy? Basically, that's the idea behind it, okay? But let's see if we can get some some sales history over here to see if there's anything going on. Nothing popping up over here for some reason. Uh, huh, nothing popping up. Does that sometimes with some of the listings, but you can see that they're uploading to pretty much all products. So this designs up on all products. So keep that in mind. Remember, when you're uploading a design to a product, more products with this design, Amazon will promote below the listing to show them, hey, maybe you want it on a phone case, maybe you want it on a pop socket, maybe you want it on a hoodie, long sleeve, or a premium, or a tote, or a v-neck, okay? Maybe you don't wanna wear the standard sheet, standard t-shirt, they wanna wear it on a v-neck, so keep that in mind. All right, so, all right, we have four niches, reading, favorite child memory sayings, funny beer sayings that are evergreen, keep in mind St. Patrick's Day and baby gender reveal. So we have, you know, these are, Four different random niches, okay? Let's keep going. Just a girl who loves anime. You can see that there's a demand there. Another book, another book one. Book vibes, okay? I'm not sure if there's some type of big event going on right now or just because it's books, right? That's 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 big. Proud bonus dad of a 2023 20, graduate, okay? Huh. My aunt is cooler than your dad. So, sisterhood, graduation, interesting, graduation. So, graduation. 
popping up some Kanye West over here. Some ye. Graduation. And yeah. So some hashtags over here on Instagram. Remember, don't forget to you, you can research any social media platform. It doesn't just, you know, have to be doing research over here on Amazon or using Merchant for me. There's different graduations. One day ago. Okay. So three days ago. Okay. So we got something going over here. We're or three days ago. So graduation is big right now. All right. One minute ago. Okay, so based off of that hashtag, right, you can see that two minutes ago, people are graduating right now. Two minutes ago, and that's that's crazy. So one thing, too, that I've always personally have done is I, I, I pay attention to what's going on on social media, okay, as far as, you know, learning stuff and, and, and trying to, you know, leverage it into my advantage to make money. So you can see that graduation is like a, a big thing right now, and and happy graduation nine minutes it's it's, it's uh, yeah these are like two minutes ago three minutes ago four minutes ago and you can even just do like a grad you know there's like graduation 2023 right and just kind of see what what people are you know you see like this right here 2023 prom 23 you see there's prom now okay so there's different ideas with inside of here that can be done okay so the next one we can come over here is going to be number five graduation 2023 and just keep in mind you know it might be coming to an end it may be coming to an end so maybe you got to focus on the next it'll be graduation 2024 okay just to kind of get ahead and understand like okay what designs are doing good and you can figure out like, okay what designs are doing good in the graduation 2024 niche and then you start to get ahead and create something else in there okay all right so we got book vibes bonus stat bonus stat. okay keep that in mind too that can be a whole nother niche right there Okay, so if you keep that in mind, that can be another one too. So bonus dad, okay, bonus dad, that can be a completely different niche. So like what is a bonus dad? You can ask Google, you can ask chat GPT. Uh, so a bonus dad is a man who helps, helps parent a child from another father. Okay, so that's what a bonus dad is, right? bring that over there into the notes and I'll put that down below in the notes too as well you can see uh, that little Chrome, Chrome extension for chat GTP too you can see, yeah so that's what that is right there okay and I'll put this down below in the description too so you can kind of get a breakdown of everything that we're doing right here and you can see that I'm flying along going flying all right let's keep going down and what I like to do is like just knock out this first front page because this is very, very powerful because there's so much in here that can, you know, obviously can be researched and I can go on and on. I can literally create a whole three hours of video content and put this, you know, into, into place. Sisterhood. Okay. Sisterhood. My aunt is definitely cooler than my dad. Huh? So forklift. Okay. This is, there's a demand here. Okay. So we can literally come up with forklift. We got the forklift niche okay you can see they got that kind of evolution type of ordeal going on right there right we got sisterhood Hood. and you literally like i told you you can use instagram or just kind of get an idea of like what's any of this these topics mean right ant ant funny ant like funny ant sayings do really good funny ant okay all right, we're knocking this out. We're just doing, we'll put in some work over here. Hey, shirts, okay, anything, you can do so much around here. Like you can see, sea fish, look what they did. They just took, you know, they got a turtle, got a little shark in here and then, you know, different other sea fish in there, but they just created something very general that, you know, like a five-year-old or six-year-old or seven-year-old and they put the number five in there. That's big. Same thing over here, birthday girl, okay? They got the llama and then all this, um, you know, little hearts around it, okay? So we have, birthday okay and you can just put like boys remember boys and girls you can even think of you know older people too as well like adults and stuff and remember too with all this stuff too I'll show you a quick little trick but you can check you know for anything that's trademark if you want to check the one that I tool that I like to use is a merch by Amazon trademark check production by merch informer which brings up this little tab and you can check, you know, pretty much these four categories. This is 
the category for, you know, t-shirts and you have to understand, you know, obviously a boy can be, you know, trademark aquarium. It's like, these are more of like general topic words, but the ones that you want to be most careful for, it's like, obviously like if it's a, a movie that just came out or anything like that, you got to be very careful. And then this is up to you. And then this is what's something that you have to learn with your business personally. But I would just, you know, be careful with using, like give, having too long, I mean, the two keywords together, like aquarium boy or something like that. Or, you know what I mean? But yeah, Amazon's rules, Amazon merch. Personally, I uploaded over there to Redbubble, all that stuff too. But uploading to different platforms, you have to be very careful because you're playing, you know, in their sandbox. So you got to follow their rules. Just something to keep in mind. Now, as we're going down, kindergarten school, West Virginia, the best day of the year. Okay, now this year is a leap year, right? The best day of the year. Some something to keep in mind. Okay, next time when leap year comes around, right? You can be ahead of this, okay? It's not that it's too late. It's just that it's going to happen, okay? Okay, and you can literally ask, ask Google, when does leap year, you know, occur or start, <clears throat> right? And it will tell you when's leap year going to start. So it says the 2020 to 2024 right leap year is every four years okay so is leap year gonna happen this year it looks like it's going to happen this year if i get that correct i may be wrong but right yeah no that's not this year it should be next year if i get that correct let me go down yeah next year okay leap year is happening next year so that's something you could probably get ahead of right now right keep that in mind okay all right so we have 11 different niches that we can kind of just jump into and that's pretty good so i gave we went over we went over reading we went over a favorite childhood memories funny beer sayings okay baby gender reveal graduation 2023 graduation 2024 you may want to work on that bonus dad okay forklift sisterhood funny amp birthday and leap year okay so when it comes to any of that stuff guys you want to make sure that you're getting ahead okay we knocked out some good research right here for you if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below and watch this next video right here if you want to see how i do more research peace